Okay. Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here at CatchJitsu.com. In my last video on how to properly do an arm triangle, I talked about how the answering the phone block is 20 years old and doesn't work anymore. You see people try it all the time and they still get tapped out. Because people have a good squeeze now and they drop their shoulder into the choke. That doesn't work. So a theory on how to defend triangle chokes. We're going to break it down into three stages. Stage one, early stage. Stage two, ear cover. Stage 3A or 3B. So you go one, you go to two, you go to 3A or 3B. Sometimes you go from one to 3A or 3B. Sometimes I, if he's not doing a good job, you just escape right away. 3A, boom, you just escape out of the potential early triangle before Joe Rogan even calls it a triangle, okay? So like anything, what's the best defenses don't get put there in the first place or in the very, very early phases. But we'll, we'll, we'll see why this just doesn't work, okay? So, actually we'll go through a full arm triangle first. So, pre-phase pre arm triangle. I'm here and I'm blocking his hip, but he's behind my elbow. Guess what? I'm pretty screwed because he's keeping his head low. If he screws up, I get my arm back. Okay, I jump to 3A. I jump to the stage to escape. Awesome right now. But, oh shit, he's got tight shoulder pressure and an arm. He's already setting it up, his head's low. If he jumps over to the triangle, and I answer the phone. Yeah, I still tapped in like maybe 1.7 seconds. This didn't do a whole lot, so stop doing it. Okay, so when someone is side mounted, far side, they're not on the side of the attacker, and he's here, what I need to do is I need to make a fist frame. I need to do this. And I need to keep my elbow tight and low and here. Now try it, arm triangle. He was about fooling me a bit with that shoulder. It sucks, but I'm not going to tap. Try it, arm triangle. I got a fist frame. Okay? So I'm making a structural frame. I'm making a structural. He's putting good pressure, trust me. He knows what he's doing. But I'm making a structural frame. That's different than guys just pushing on their own arm when there's no structure support. So then their arm gets pushed. But I'm going to suck this elbow to my ribs, suck this down, I make a strong frame, and now I can just... So this is the first defense, is stomp. So he's in pre-arm triangle, and I'm going to stomp. Now later on, what can I do to get out of here? I could go right into like elbow escape or a funk roll pass or something else. But if I do the frame, arm down, linear bones, here to my side, not out here where my arm pushes, but here. Okay, I try and choke. Got it. Okay, and you see how it led to a felt like elbow skip? Okay, so stage one, boom! Because if I put a frame, my elbow on the ground, uh, stay off of So here, if I put this down near the ground, and even if I suck this down as tight as I can, like, you can't push farther because this is a bone. So this is linear bone frame. So fist post frame. Okay, so phase two, he's starting to get me into a damn arm triangle. From phase two, I can stall him out, maybe he lets go. Or I have to go to 3A or 3B, my actual last ditch escapes. Okay, 3A is leave the arm out, 3B is last ditch bridge and should be combined with a granule. Okay, so if Chris, I mess up and he still manages to do and then he jumps across, I'm gonna go here and answer. Talk to my ear, try to me. Okay, see how he twisted out? He had a real good choke. But had I not done the defense I just did, he would have tapped me out. Okay. Had I just done this, he would have tapped me out and I wouldn't have been able to twist his front. So what I did was stage one, where's the camera? Stage one to stage two. Okay, this helps alleviate some of the pressure of the shoulder to my throat. This is my first time doing this, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna work. So it's gonna work it. Working so far. So, uh, let's say before he hops over. So I screwed up bad and he's deep his head down and he's starting to already do this. So I could stage one it, or I could stage two it here. Right? Now look at this. Okay, so before he hops over, I'm keeping tight, whatever. 
and then he's moving around, he's trying to get some pressure. Oh, oh, I'm up. Because I went to stage two, the second that I feel his head's a little up, I just get my arm up. Okay, should I then hook his leg and try and escape or something? Yeah, I should, but I'm out of the choke. So you have to defend chokes early, stage one, stage two. Okay, so now stage one, stage two, here's stage one. He's starting to get me. He hops over and I didn't keep it far enough away. Oh shit, do I go to answer the phone? No, because I'm choked. Keep my chin down and go to stage two. Now use your hand to get some pull here. No. Yeah, and yeah. get your chin down. And now I'm here. Okay, now try to choke me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's all I can do to get that deep. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> but you would have got me a lot faster had I answered the, the telephone. Okay? You wouldn't know about me. You shouldn't get in the choke in the first place. So he, he, he knew I was going to twist out this time because I did that escape last time. He kept the pressure. Nothing is 100%. Had I done this though, we've already learned, hopefully, he would have choked right through my arm like super quick. This allowed me to bridge on my side and get out and play with it again. Of why stage two is better than an ear hold is much better than answer the telephone call. Because the relationship of my shoulder and my elbow was closer to the ground. Okay, and then if I manage to make a little space, my elbow's down line, so I'm able to weave it out faster and easier. Yeah, now his pressure was so good and his head was low that I had to go 3A wasn't going to work. 3B means bridge out. And if I can, get to my knees enough to do a grand move. Okay. You see it in UFC all the time. People do last ditch bridge out. You should always not tap. I should never tap to an arm triangle just laying on my back. Last ditch, you should always bridge and try to get to your knees. Try to get out of that choke, and sometimes you will. You should have just quick tap. Uh, I tried and I got tapped. Fucking happens. But I didn't lay there and go. Oh man, oh, he got me. Yeah, oh, here's the ref. I'm looking. I'm getting ready to tap, ref. Yeah. yeah, and I just give up. If you got time to do this, you should be doing something else. So I should at least twist one. If I can get that arm back, which is easier this way, get the arm back. Because let's just go slow. So, stage one. Boom, frame. He'll probably give up. Maybe I can bridge, maybe I can shred, get guard, whatever. Or, uh, he's trying, still trying to choke from here. He's here, yeah, and but he hasn't hopped over the wall yet. Okay, keep your legs down this time and start choking. He's here, here, boom, and just keep my friend. He just stop, and then I would have weaved out. Okay, because it's you put this pressure, there's nothing. So keep your friend, whatever. Now he's gonna start slowly, start to hop over and start to get the choke. Now I might keep here, or his pressure might be so solid. This time I might do this. His pressure might be and now it's. At that point, I gotta either get my arm out or twist. His pressure was so good, I probably have to twist last this escape. So go ahead and turn on that side. So I'm here. Okay. Now, if I can bring this down, put my chin down, make a little bit of space, I might leg hook this, bring something, boom, and fight this. We might be in a bridge battle. Yeah. To get this, like even if your head was still down, if I can get this, I'm not choking him. His shoulder's choking, but it's not hurt choking. Okay. Or you see that he's been screwing me so bad. At this point, from this, I will twist to my knees. Now people go home and they get their back taken. Instead of that, I'm gonna so grab. And I'm, gonna, I'm gonna grab you and get my ass out of there. Keep grabbing or come back to my feet. So you should know this. What do you do in an arm triangle? You fight it, last ditch, you twist, and you grab me, modify grab me, whatever you want to think of it as, your shoulder roll out of it. You shouldn't just go to your knees and let the guy take it back. Imagine that your opponent is the best there is because he's already past tricking you down, side mounted, you play on an arm triangle. This is jujitsu is pretty solid, right? Okay, so you see people twist their knees and so they didn't tap the arm triangle, but then they're mentally defeated, and 20 seconds later they tap to the remake. So, frame. He goes over, he starts to choke. That's how he has to hear. Okay. Now fuck it. Go ahead, try to me. Uh. 
Okay? Okay? That's good defense. It's much better than what was going to happen. Okay? Still might get me, but at least I got a fighting chance then. Friend, he goes for the choke. Oh shit. That's it. Okay. Now I was hoping to come to my knees and if I'm still only Randy out. You can even shoulder lock him there like a kind of weird um plata if his arm stays. So if it doesn't stay, you're gonna scramble, wrestle. Wrestle, wrestle, wrestle. So I'm gonna get out. So hopefully we've seen that two times ago. I did this and I did an arm train and I fought him here. And then I even said, well that's like a um plata emblem. Something he's with our If I got into a style, I want to hear. And that's how he stopped me from getting to my base for a long time to really get to both my knees. But so let's go slow. Here, it's just slow pressure. Boom. Here. Knees. Do I stay here, let him take that back? No, immediately as this knee hits, it hits the ground. Immediately as I'm turtle, grab and scramble. Ooh, whatever. You should be scrambling. People go, oh no, you're not gonna tell ya! And then they stop, they're mentally defeated, they get their back taken the tab on. So stage one, stage two, three A, weave it around the head. If you can bypass stage two, fine, bridge, weave it up. If not, you're going to bridge to your knees. Boom. Shoulder. Brandy will kind of thing and make a scramble happen. As I'm saying, sometimes there's even a locker. Anyway, guys, try it out. Yeah, know that this and staying flat on your back is not the answer. So at least this is better. Okay, thank you. Please subscribe. Thank you.